Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 36 for 2018, organizing the technical requirements for sending, receiving and updating the electronic records and signatures of the public bodies. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, ordered an investigation into the collapse of a building which left several casualties in Manama. His Royal Highness directed the Ministries of Interior, Labour and Social Development, Health, Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to investigate the causes and submit an immediate report. He directed the Ministry of Health to set up a medical team involving different government hospitals to provide required treatment for the injured. His Royal Highness the Premier gave directives to coordinate efforts so as to help the wounded and their families overcome the incident. He expressed regret for the painful incident, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the injured with a quick recovery. The Ministry of Health said that an old apartment building collapsed in Manama yesterday, resulting in several deaths and injuries. It reported that the injured are receiving medical treatment in the Thalmaniya Medical Complex. Two people with severe burns as well as 15 others have been transferred to BDF Hospital for treatment. The Ministry said that the injured are in a critical condition are currently undergoing diagnostic tests. The Ministry is coordinating with the bodies concerned regarding the surgeries to be taken for the injured. The Ministry of Health has stated that all 27 people who were injured in the tragic accident that occurred yesterday due to the collapse of an old building in Manama are receiving the necessary health services after their conditions were assessed. The patients were admitted to the critical care unit in Salmania Medical Complex and two patients were transferred to the burns unit at the Bahrain Defense Force Hospital. The Ministry of Health pointed out that the number of deaths so far are four. Three of them died in the incident and one was transferred to the hospital. He died at 4.45 a.m. today at the Salmania Medical Complex as a result of multiple injuries. The, ambulance, uh, the ambulances are still present at the site of the accident and are continuing search operations where the disaster recovery plan was activated yesterday evening upon receiving an alert from the Civil Defense Department. The ministry said that the phases of the disaster and emergency plan have been successfully achieved thanks to the efforts of the working caterers and the concerned authorities in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Health, Fayaqa bin Saeed al Saleh, affirmed that upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, an integrated medical team from different government hospitals will be formed to provide treatment for the injured. And for more about the efforts, we are now joined by the Assistant Under Secretary for Hospitals, Dr. Mohammed Amin Al Awadi. Hello, Dr. Mohammed, thank you for being with us. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Doctor, how did the Ministry of Health activate the emergency plan to deal with such an incident? Uh, first of all, to start with, we received a call from uh, Civil Defense and the Ministry of Interior at around uh, 7.30 that there is a collapse in a, and a burn in a building. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, uh, an alert was directed to all the doctors and the key Ministry of Health people to be alerted about it. And, uh, and, and uh, two ambulances were sent to the site where there is a medical team which assist and therefore a full alert was changed into a disaster uh, code and all the medical and nursing staff in the Salmani Medical Complex were called and we communicated with the other government hospitals which is the BDF hospital and King Hamad hospital who were very ready and uh, assessed uh, the situation with the Salmani Medical Complex. Yes. And uh, then all the uh, 15 ambulances were sent to the site and quickly all the patients were transferred uh, to Salmani uh, Medical Complex. They were assessed and the patients who were in Salmani Medical Complex were cleared so that we'll have a place for the new coming. So the poor King Hamad Hospital took 15 patients to the hospital and uh, the other ambulances were diverted to go to King Hamad and BDF Hospital. There were two very sick patients who transferred to, King, uh, to BDF Hospital. And uh, all the extra nursing staff and doctors were uh, in Salmania Medical Complex. Her Excellency, the Minister of Health, also was 
uh, at the site there, assessing the situation in the disaster uh, room in the uh, San Mania Medical Complex. Yes. And uh, uh, the patients were assessed and cared for. We have received, uh, sadly, uh, um, uh, three uh, patients who died at the site uh, uh, before they were arriving to San Mania and therefore were taking to be prepared for uh, uh, care. There was one patient who had died in Salmoni Medical Complex in our ICU at around 4.30 in the morning due to the multiple trauma that he had. Yes. Uh, the others are, uh, uh, seven of them underwent surgeries to correct uh, the fractures that they have and uh, care for the burn that they have in the Salmoni Medical Complex. Two of these were cared for at the BDF Hospital Intensive Care Unit. Uh, I want to uh, uh, assure the public and the community that all the medical patients, all the patients are under good medical uh, care, and this care is continuous, even if uh, the patients were, uh, were, are in good condition and discharged. There was a follow-up we do at the Money Medical Complex for them. Yes. Uh, because burn cases need uh, follow-up to be cared for. And this is the standard of practice in the Ministry of Health, in which all emergency services we deal with our community as one. There's no distinction between foreigners or expatriates and local. They're all cared for, and they're all given uh, uh, all the needed care that is available in the Salmani Medical Complex. Yes. The yes. great uh, effort that was done was not only by Ministry of Health itself, but other ministries were involved. Civil Defense uh, Ministry of Interior uh, activated its services in extremely uh, good way, and uh, the BDF hospital cooperated with the Ministry of Health in an extremely generous and, and efficient way. King Hamad Hospital has received uh, uh, around 23 of our patients in a very rapid uh, sequence by sending their ambulances to Salmani Medical Complex to care for these patients, and therefore the integrated work that was done was uh, really idealistic. Yes. Yes. And uh, it was good, and therefore the community uh, has received extremely good care. And the uh, uh, San Mania Medical Complex Emergency Department is back to its normal function currently. Uh, and uh, the patients are, who are admitted are looked after and are followed. And uh, the complexity of the care requires that they have to have multidisciplinary care from surgery, burn surgery, uh, orthopedics and uh, medical care for uh, those who are admitted. Uh, and this is the nature of the practice that we have in Salmania and which we look after our community and we sympathize with them and we care for them so that they can go back to their work and get healthy as soon as possible. Yes, yes. Um, uh, doctor, uh, the, the uh, injured that uh, have received treatment or are receiving treatment as Salmania Complex as well as other uh, hospitals right now, we've heard a lot of them um, are undergoing uh, maybe probably some surgeries and so on. Can you tell us about the um, uh, medical team that has been assembled in order to treat these patients? Uh, yes, there is uh, um, a medical trauma team which uh, screens the patient and see what is the, and prioritizes the care. And then there are the specialty cares who look after them. There are, we have uh, two patients in San Mania who require neurosurgical attention and one of them required surgery. And then we have burn surgeons who look after their burn cases and look uh, and take care of them. All this happened in the late last evening, early morning today and, and morning today. Then there is the orthopedic group of surgeons who look after these fractures and they care for them and uh, they admit them to the orthopedic ward when they're stable. We also have a step-down unit for the ICU in which when the patients are stable, they are moved to the step-down unit. And currently, um, uh, two patients have been moved to the step-down step, step unit because they are stable in, the, in a relatively good condition. All of the patients are in relatively stable conditions currently. Yes. Yeah. And uh, most of them are uh, uh, are in good health, and I hope by the by coming next week they will be discharged. Well, there are only three cases who are uh, are in intensive care and are severely injured, and they need uh, uh, this kind of uh, care for a longer period of time. Yes.
Yes. Um, uh, doctor, my uh, final question, please bear with us. Can you tell us more about the cooperation with the different embassies to assure about uh, their nationals that are in the hospital? Yes. Uh, when the patients come, all the patients are identified by the system that we have. Many of the patients who came to us uh, were not speaking Arabic or English, and we had translators there to speak to us about to where do they belong. We had uh, patients mostly from Bangladesh. Some of them were, one of them was from India and one from Pakistan, and uh, a couple of Bahraini patients. And therefore, uh, all the concerned people who are related to these patients were notified about these uh, cases and these patients, and also the places that they work, where they were notified about them. Uh, we have uh, two cases that were not identified initially who they are because of the severe illness and condition that we couldn't. And then, then we uh, asked for assistance from the Ministry of Interior to, to identify uh, them by the pictures that we have. And they were identified and currently all the expatriates, all, all the next of kin were notified about them. Uh, so in that way, uh, all our patients are cared for and the relatives are, uh, came to San Mania to visit them or the, their friends came to San Mania and visited them today. Perfect. Very good. Thank you very much, Dr. Mohamed Lawali, for answering our questions and a speedy recovery, hopefully, for the injured. Civil defense personnel continue their efforts in the site of the collapse that took place yesterday in a two-floor building due to a leak in one of the gas cylinders led to an explosion. The civil defense personnel are ensuring the safety of all surrounding buildings and vehicles that were damaged by the collapse. Public Security Chief Major General Tariq bin Hassan al-Hassan valued the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his directives to investigate the causes of the incident and submitting a report in this regard to His Royal Highness. He also commended the directives and follow-up of the Minister of Interior. Major General Tariq al-Hassan had visited yesterday evening the scene of the incident and closely followed the efforts exerted by all bodies, especially the civil defense, to control the situation and ensure speed of rescuing the injured and transporting them to the hospitals, as well as the exhumation of the dead. The Ministry of Interior carried out its operations through the use of thermal cameras and sniffer dogs in the search and rescue. The main operations room received an alert at 7.20 p.m. on Tuesday evening. The patrols managed to reach the site within three minutes and began to set up a police cordon around the site and organize traffic on the nearby streets. Upon the arrival of the rescue teams, the civil defense began immediately to remove the debris and use drones and police dogs to identify the locations of the buried people. It also classified the situations of the injured and evacuated them to the hospital. The chief of public security said that the public prosecution was informed of the incident, stressing the responsibility of the owners of residential buildings to provide public safety requirements, thus protecting the lives of residents. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to all the authorities and ministries that helped in dealing with the incident. He valued the efforts of the civil defense personnel, which included 11 civil defense vehicles, 15 security patrols, 60 officers and 19 ambulances. 24 injured were evacuated to the hospital. The General Directorate of Civil Defense again urged citizens and residents to comply with public safety requirements regarding gas connections in order to ensure the security and safety of all.
The civil defense personnel are continuing their efforts at the site of the building which collapsed yesterday due to a leak in one of the gas cylinders which led to an explosion in Selmania area. The civil defense personnel are ensuring the safety of all surrounding buildings and vehicles that were damaged by the collapse. The final death toll was four, while a number of patients are still receiving treatment in hospitals and their injuries range from mild to severe. For more information on this pressing issue, we are joined by the Head of Planning and Development Division of the General Directorate of Civil Defense, Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Al Bin Ghadir. Hello, Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed. Thank you very much for being with us. It seems we have a technical problem. We'll try to get him back. 